guys, it's Dino here, back for another beer review. And this is a beer that I've been hanging on to for, must be five, six months now. Um, and you guys may have seen uh, this beer featured on other videos. It's Zane Maxwell, aka Rick, Rookie Brews, uh, Wild Brown Ale. Uh, said to best open after August, so it's well and truly after that. Um, so yeah, let's crack it open. I don't know if it's showing up there, but it's very clear in the bottle. I'll pop it open. Hope your week's going well, guys. Sorry I haven't done um, many videos lately. Um, I have got a grain to glass video in the pipeline, so hopefully this coming weekend I'll be able to edit that and put it together. Uh, but I won't say too much about it now. Okay. There's a little bit of hiss, but not too much. Um, beautiful colour. Not sure if it's going to show up. Um, it's actually very clear. It's like a dark, sort of auburn, mahogany, browny colour. But it is clear. It's got some nice reddy hues coming through. Um, not much in the way of a, of a head. So yeah, this is uh, Zane's Wild Brown Ale, so I believe the yeast was cultivated on some uh, apple skins, so just captured a wild yeast um, that was floating around his place. Um, I think this was brewed back right at the beginning of this year, might have been sort of January, February, so it's a, it's a good seven, or oh, more than that, eight months, seven, eight months old. Um, he said here the OG was 1080 and it's finished at 1015 to give 8.5%. So like I say, fantastic colour. Um, get a bit of a get a bit of a smell on it. Cheers guys, cheers Zane for sending us up. I've uh, finally got round to drinking it. Apologies for the delay. Ooh. I'm getting um some nice sort of sourness coming off the top, saying. Yeah, it reminds me of um, a sour, like a sour beer or a sour Belgian or something like that. Oh, that smells nice. Um, not sure what the hops are, but I'm not really getting any hops. Getting a little um, bit of the alcohol on the nose as well. So I'm just going to dive in guys, uh, cheers to you all again. Ooh, that is very nice. Just have another sip, I'm just... Uh, just trying to think about what I'm actually tasting. Um, on the taste I'm getting um, some sourness as well. Yeah, I'm sort of tr struggling to describe the flavours. Um, sourness, some sort of fruity, fruity flavours coming through. Yeah, it def definitely reminds me a bit of um, sort of a Belgian beer for some reason, Belgian ale. Um, the 8.5% uh, is very well masked in there. Not getting huge amounts of alcohol in the taste. Even though it hasn't got a big head, it's got some, the, I think the carbonation for this particular beer is, is very good, it's bang on. Um, now I believe, I could be wrong, I think because it's a brown ale, there's um, probably some chocolate malt in there. Maybe some darker crystal or something else. Um, maybe getting a little bit of sweetness mixed in with the sour, it's a bit hard to sort of separate the two. Um, one's combating the other, that's sort of sweet and sour, but um, yeah that is awesome Zane, it's um, honestly it's a unique beer, it's unlike 
any other beer I've tried and, and that's a good thing. Um, I really like beers that uh, make you think about what's in them and what sort of flavours um, you're picking up and uh, particularly ones that you can't readily or easily identify the flavours um, just makes you sort of want to go back in for another sip and have a bit more of a thing. Yeah, definitely getting um, sort of Belgian fruity sort of esters. Um, now it's warming up a bit. Smell a bit more of the alcohol as well. So um, that's me done, guys. I am because it's eight and a half percent. Uh, I want to sit on this beer for a while and really enjoy it and let it warm up a bit more. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot more um, flavour and aroma out of it. So. So thank you very much for that Zane, that is a top beer and I know other people that have tried it that I've, uh, I've tried not to watch their whole videos but I, I get the impression that other people have really enjoyed it. So um, you can add me to the list Zane, fantastic beer. So whatever you did to make it, um, you did the right thing and if you can uh, replicate that, all the better. So uh, yeah, I'll start waffling guys, um, we'll catch you back for either another beer review later in the week or I'll get that uh, grain to glass video all uh, edited up. Okay, cheers, over and out. Have a good day.